Today we're at the Jackie Robinson Recreational Center in Harlem and we're going to be traveling to about four or five other green roofs across New York collecting soil samples from each of the green roofs. Green roofs are really good for insulating and cooling buildings. They reduce our carbon footprint and they decrease stormwater runoff and there's just a lot of really good benefits that come with green roofs. But the biological and ecological benefits haven't been totally explored. So that's what we're doing here in the Green Roof Project. It's not just plants in pots on a roof. It is a surviving ecosystem. And the idea is green roofs should replace green ecosystems and plant communities that would otherwise exist on the ground. So as you'll see behind and around me, each box is split into two different plant communities. And one of the questions we're asking now is do they help foster and promote biodiversity? The aspect of biodiversity that we're studying is microorganisms and specifically fungi and bacteria that live in the soil substrate of the green roofs. They're responsible for cycling the majority of nutrients through the soil that plants depend on for growth and survival. And also a lot of these microbes are able to break down pollution that gets deposited on the roof systems and we think that microbes might be filtering the water that runs off of the buildings. So from an ecological standpoint, from an economic standpoint, and from a biological standpoint, and from a sustainability standpoint, everyone should be interested in green roofs. When the Diana Center opened, the only choice we had to plant the green roof was with something very simple. So the turf grass was put in. That's being left at the very far end, but down here is something much more ambitious and much more complicated. And each of the different beds will be planted with a slightly different mix of native plants. There are some native grasses, native wildflowers that naturally coexist in high light, shallow soil, low rainfall conditions, which is exactly what you have on an urban green roof. So we're basically building a new ecosystem within the urban ecosystem. And no one really knows what's gonna happen there and what's gonna happen to the soil. Will it go through the regular organic life cycle of soil? So we'll use the Diana Center to really look more in detail at how the different plant communities that are found throughout New York City are maintaining biodiversity. And of course, we're gonna be looking at the microbes to answer that question. There's so much to be learned, and I think that we have an amazing space to learn it. It's really a unique space to learn and a unique space to research that. We can do something that is both beautiful, works really well to keep our environment clean and healthy, and teaches us a lot more about how the environment functions in general. And it's an amazing opportunity for our students, especially because we can integrate what goes on here with our colleagues at those institutions throughout the city. And we're already doing that and hope to do more of it into the future.